Ledson now for a couple of weeks uh, while I went down and uh, picked Wombie up. So Wombie's back on the boat, which is fantastic, and we're going to uh, do a fair bit of cruising together. Unfortunately, the uh, wind isn't really cooperating. We've had a pretty strong southeaster blowing for the last few days, and we're keen to get going, but uh, we're going to wait for it to die right out and go around to the north a little bit. So I just uh, booked for another couple of nights in the marina. It's a great spot here, but um, yeah, we are keen to get on the road and uh, head down to Pancake and a bit further south. It's uh, so good to be back with Wombie. COVID really did pull us apart and uh, look like we're finished there for some time, but um, now we're back together. Uh, she's doing a bit of cruising, but we're going to do a fair bit on the boat, but a fair bit uh, on land as well. So it'll all be really good, but um, it's great to be back with Wombie and Ted. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. How long for the um, schnitzels? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Better go and see Well, someone's been very naughty. We were just having uh, drinks with some few friends on the other side of the boat and someone just dropped a slab of forex on the back of the boat. Now, I don't know who it is, probably someone that follows me on YouTube, but look, you don't have to do that, guys. Now I've got to find out who it was to thank them. So, look, thanks very much. If I don't catch up with you, we're going tomorrow morning. If I don't catch up with you, then thanks very much. But look, guys, you don't have to do that. Um, I do this for fun, and I'm glad I'm helping you out. So cheers. Don't do it.
left of the marina at Gladstone. Uh, the wind's still out of the south a bit, but it's very light. We were going to leave after lunch and uh, get the tide with us, but it's such a nice day and the wind's so light, we've decided to push off a bit early. All our chores are done. We've done the final bit of washing and uh, put water on, so we're ready to go. So we're bound for Pancake Creek. Looks like we've got about three days that we can use to get down into the Sandy Strait, and uh, then we'll have to hold up again and wait for the weather. Great marina at Gladstone though, you really should visit it. Fantastic facility. a fair bit of speed to the tide um, we'll turn in about two hours I'm just trying to make up my mind whether we use the south passage uh, out of here or travel all the way up the shipping channel and I think uh, we might skip out through the south passage and uh, hopefully not push quite as much tide but we'll give that a try anyway I'm not sure it might be worse but um, we'll give it a fly the distances are about the same so see how it goes. trip but the wind has been on the nose we haven't been able to get any sail out at all and uh, it's always a little bit hard going into the weather like this they know what we really like to do it looks like being better tomorrow and um, we'll get into pancake we'll use the outer anchorage and uh, we'll get up pretty early in the morning and uh, make our way down into Harvey Bay and Bundaberg we're gonna have to get fuel there um, the old girl's going to be a little bit thirsty by the time we get to Bundy because uh, we've come all the way from Hamilton Island uh, to Bundy on, on uh, the one fill, so uh, she'll take a little bit of filling up. Pretty pleasant though, a lot better than what the weather has been.
for a warm or what? <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't it? Well, this is what it's all about. We had uh, quite a pleasant trip. Anchored up in the outer anchorage at Pancake. Just went ashore, let Ted have a bit of a wander around on the beach, had a bit of a swim, come back, a couple of drinks before we have a barbecue for dinner and an early night to bed, I guess. Uh, we're thinking about leaving in the wee hours of the morning to head to Bundy. And the wind is going around to the north as we speak, so starting to get a bit more north in it, so that should be good for tomorrow. Well, it's uh, getting on to half past 11 and uh, we weren't really going to do this trip this early. We've had a bit of trouble with Teddy. Um, we went and had coffee the other day and the people gave him some kibble to eat and we think it might have been something that's upset his tummy and the poor little buggy, he's got, uh, he's got diarrhea really bad. So uh, he's been keeping us up all night. We sort of addressed it a bit, we've given him some medicine and um, he seems to be alright so because we're up we decided to uh, leave a bit earlier. We were going to leave at about 1 o'clock. Um, I think we'll be alright, like I don't mind travelling at night but the trouble is uh, over the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of flooding in the Burnett and uh, Mary Rivers and the bit of rubbish out in Harvey Bay. So. I'm just a little bit worried about uh, running into a log or something like that, but um, we've got a bit of moon and we've got the radar, so anything real big we'll probably see, but uh, yeah, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Um, we'll get a bit of daylight in about five hours, six hours anyway, so uh, and we won't be really deep into Harvey Bay until then, so um, hopefully we get away with it. Anyway, it'll put us in Bundy uh, pretty early tomorrow morning, so that'll be one plus, and it's um, pretty pleasant out here. Actually, when we uh, hold a course and head a bit further south, um, we should be able to get some sail out, so that'll make it a bit more comfortable. Well, nearly to Bundy. Not much of a trip. This uh, wind has really got up later on this morning too and it's right out of the southeast so we've been punching it the whole way but anyway we're nearly there we'll get in fuel up and be ready for an early start tomorrow i guess
back in Bundy. We'll only be here for one night, and in the next episode, we're going to take you down through the Sandy Strait. So if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe, send us a comment, or give us a like. It all helps. Thanks, dudes. See you next time.